Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Uh, my daughter, Pastor Joanne, the Lord has spoken with me about the glorious super mega revival that is coming to Nakuru in Kenya here. Again, the Lord has begun to speak with me very, very mightily, very seriously about the super mega revival healing service that is coming uh, here to Nakuru, Kenya. And in this conversation, I see this girl. It's a little girl who uh, the Lord sends his prophet now to meet, to encounter this girl. And I, I don't know whether she is blind or she is crippled, but it looks like she is blind because her eyes, the Lord emphasizes, she looks at me now. She looks at me. And then the Lord opens those eyes and they are wider. They are now wider. It's a little girl. I think she wears a cloth that's whitish, a whitish cloth, uh, a kind of whitish cloth. And uh, she, she looks at me. The eyes, when I look at her, the eyes become wider. The eyes open. So I do not know whether she's also crippled or so, but the eyes open. So that means there's going to be big, big visitation. The Lord has begun speaking with me about that meeting and that also means that uh, there will be a lot of uh, blind eyes that are going to open in that meeting so i encourage many people to bring your blind and make sure you go through the gate of the sick so that we can record them their initial condition and i've seen the visitation of the lord and he showed me in the second part of this conversation about the meeting the super mega revival healing service that will take place in Nakuru. And then he shows me a huge, a fresh healing anointing that will stun the nations of the earth. There is going to be a fresh, never seen before healing anointing that will touch the earth that is coming to take place in Nakuru. And it will be a historic sight to behold to see how the Lord is going to touch the crippled legs then they get up and walk, strengthen them and stabilize them and teach them to now be stable and to balance well as they walk, learning for the first time. It's going to be a sign and wonder to see that. And the Lord is going to, at the same time, open the many blind eyes, as I've seen, the deaf ears, the mute, the, the lame legs, the paralytic spinal cord injuries, broken backs, tumors will dissolve, cancers will dry up, wounds dry up, different conditions of the liver, the heart, the spleen, the internal organs are going to be restored. And then you do miracles of creation in front of the camera, the television camera live. So there's going to be a historic super mega visitation of God the Father that will take place in Nakuru beginning this coming month, the month of August beginning 26th, 26th of August all the way to the end of the meeting, even during uh, e even during the International Conference of Pastors and Ministers of the Gospel, yeah, there will be a huge healing anointing that is going to consume that venue, Nakuru, where these meetings will take place. And so I announced to the nations of the earth that what an awesome time to be a Christian what a blessed time to be a Christian. What a holy time to be a Christian. What an opportune time to be born again. This is the hour for the church. When the world is busy looking for solutions, they are going left and right. Many things are happening. There's a lot of distress left and right, including in Europe. However, the Lord is saying he's coming to visit the church and display the signs and wonders of his power. This is the hour at which the church should now take her central authority of righteousness, the authority of holiness, and show the nation's direction and prepare the nations for the coming of the Messiah. What an awesome time to be a Christian, to be born again, to be in the church, when the Lord is coming to do these mighty things and mighty works in the face of man, on the face of the earth, that people may know that time is over and the Messiah is coming. 
just this year alone, before we have even completed the year, the Lord opened heaven in Lagos, in Nigeria. What an awesome thing. In the Bible, it only happens once. And it marks, it demarcates a very important event, a very important hour, and a very important visitation of the Godhead. In Lagos, Nigeria, this year, before we end the year already, we've not even ended the year. Heavens have opened their prophecy that was given, it took place. What an awesome time to be a Christian. What a blessed time to be a holy, born again follower of Christ. So these are the days we live in the moment to celebrate the victory of the blood and the cross of Jesus at Calvary. And uh, all these point at one thing, the need for the nations to turn away from this decay of apostasy and sin, the need for the nations to do so by repenting and going back to holiness, the need to be awake and alert and watchful and wait for the glorious coming of the Messiah, our King, our Savior, our Redeemer, our Master and Friend, our everlasting Father. God living with us, walking with us. He that is the way to the Father. He is that He that is the living stone, the living bread. This is the hour at which the church and the Christian should be highly exalted, should tower pretty high, quite high in the face of the earth. Because while the rest are going through a lot of tribulation, a lot of affliction, this is when the church is well aware why the earth is going through this. And they are celebrating because they are aware that their hour for deliverance has drawn nigh. So I have seen the coming of the Messiah. The Lord has spoken to me previously on many occasions about the coming of the Messiah. And in this conversation, too, about his visitation, the pointer is the coming of the Messiah. So may the nations prepare. And I know we have a lot of flight tickets already. A lot of pastors are traveling from all over the world, headed to Nakuru. I've seen some of the flight tickets, so many, so many. It looks like the whole world now is heading to Kenya, Nakuru. This is going to be really, really super mega. And the law, stunning, stunning phenomena there. Stunning event that will shake the nations of the earth and wake the sleeping earth and prepare them for the glorious coming of the King of Glory. May the Lord bless all the nations. May the Lord bless all the Church of Christ. That they may too join this train. That regardless of your denomination at this hour, you may humble and listen to this voice and hearken to the sayings of this hour. That you may prepare in honest, in righteousness, in holiness. That when the Messiah comes at that unknown day, unknown hour, you may be found right, wearing the finest linen, bright and clean. The Lord bless you. Shalom Haverim. Erev Tov.